Twilight as a whole was, well, let's call it a missed opportunity. While people do love it, you'd be hard pressed to find anyone who claims that it's at the same level of Lord of the Rings or even Harry Potter. And although it is hard to separate adaptions for their source material, it seems like the cast themselves hate the films more than the public. Did your Twilight experience turn out <laughs> to be what you expected? Oh. I will say, they did do well with the casting. There are some really talented actors here, and some actors who really fit their part. I mean, the core cast works, but some areas of the script, and obviously the direction, didn't live up to my expectations. Sparkly vampires became a joke, the lip biting became a meme, and the creepiest baby of all time makes perfect sense for a reboot. And since it's being discussed along with the Harry Potter reboot, I thought we'd take a look at it today. Hopefully we get a more true and better direction it's possible we may see Twilight as it was intended and see why it became such a hit of a novel. But who would play those characters in the reboot? Well, that's why we're here today, to cast Twilight for today and for a reboot. I'm gonna look at the three actors that matter most to the story, and then Bella's dad, just cause I don't know where else to put him. Eventually we're gonna get further down that rabbit hole, so look forward to that. But for today, we're casting Bella, Edward, Jacob, and Charlie. So let's recast Twilight for today. First up, let's tackle Edward Cullen. Now, Bella is the main character of the series. Edward kind of turned into the face of the franchise. Of course, Edward was cast well as Robert Pattinson in the role. I do believe he works really well, but it's probably the worst performance of his career. Now, Edward should be quiet, but charming, stubborn in his ways at time, and rather emotional. He has a tendency to overreact, especially when it comes to Bella, and he can come off angry and judgmental, but also he has this old soul, this understanding at times. It's quite the tightrope walk for an actor, of course, the actor who plays him needs to reasonably look like a teenager. And of course, very important here, naturally needs to fulfill that heartthrob archetype, but with a darkness to him. He needs that uncontrolled nature that really drives him, and there needs to be that dark presence to him. If you were talking about what Edward in the book looks like, this is what AI has generated, and something that I really looked at when casting him. I want Felix Mallard, I think has the perfect look for this. He has that darkness to him that you can see in his face, and as well as personality, works really well for Edward. What I've seen of him as Marcus Baker, fits really well. And although he is 25, I feel like he feels really right for this role. He's got that teenage looks, but a little bit of that personality where he feels older, but he has that emotion to him, that internal struggle that feels perfect for Edward. My uh, best friend died last year. He, uh, he got cancer. I'm sorry. Everyone has shit. So Felix Mallard as Edward Cullen. Next up, let's do Bella. Now, Bella is difficult because when you're a main character who's kind of there for the ride, you kind of get lost with the bigger and more flashy characters. I think Kristen Stewart actually does a really good job, even though she does get a lot of flack for this role. She's believable in that unsure way, but is definitely protective when she needs to step up. At times, she is needy and dependent on another character, whether it be Edward or Jacob or even her dad, but she's got this more gentle and calm way about her, and definitely this teenager quality which grows with the series. I feel like a younger actor makes sense here, so that power dynamic's important. Also, if we're looking at the AI-generated image, this is what it came up for Bella, so I did take this in consideration when casting as well. All of those things considered, it points to Talia Ryder, who definitely has the look, but as well as the personality for this. I think in Never Really Sometimes Always, she shows why she'd work perfectly as Bella. She's stripped down, not flashy, and really realistic, but there's this innocence to her, this way with her eyes, and just the way she presents herself that makes that little unsure, a little uncomfortable with herself teenager vibe that's perfect for Bella. If there's one complaint I have about Bella's character in the original series, that she's a little too brooding, doesn't have fun with anything. I feel like Talia could change that, bring a little bit more life to the character. We, we okay, we, we, we can kiss, that's fine. But I just, I needed you to know all the facts, because like I... And when she finds her way and has a little bit more confidence and needs to break out of that, her role from Do Revenge shows that she can really pull off that confidence. For me, she just feels right for this. So Talia Ryder as Bella Swan. Next we have Jacob. 
which in my opinion is one of the worst parts of the films. Maybe it's just me and me just being overcritical. Taylor Lautner is almost unwatchable in these films. I think this is where we could really have a vast improvement. I think Jacob definitely should have the softer tone to him. Friendly, a little nervous, also uncertain, and acting like a teenager, but has a little bit of that awkward confidence. He can be temperamental at times, but he's a schoolboy. You can tell he has a crush, and it's very obvious. Now, it's important to me for Jacob that he's indigenous, something that would just make the story feel more authentic. And since we've been doing it already, this is what AI came up for Jacob, as described in the books. That's why I went with Teferro Woon Etai. He's great in reservation dogs and surprisingly even has a black belt, which could translate well in those fight scenes. He has this teenager way to him, and although he's 21, I think he works really well here. He's a First Nations actor, which is important. Also has that long hair, which doesn't look awkward, unlike Jacob in those first films, but he can be soft and understanding. Well, how we started off uh, both season one and two and how we ended it was uh, doing a ceremony. We kind of blessed the set, blessed mm. each other uh, to do it right or really push his anger forward and be at odds with Edward. Either way, he'd be great for this, and I think would be a huge step up from Taylor Lautner. So Deferro Woon Atai as Jacob. <music> Lastly, we have Bella's dad, Charlie Swan. Now, of all the actors in Twilight, Billy Burke is definitely not the most talented, but I think he's the one who nails his character the most. He's an everyday man, has morals and ethics, and even though he doesn't have a lot to do, He's still a character. He knows what he's there for, and he really does a great job. He needs to be this little bit of a guy who the world hasn't been too kind to him, and a little bit more on the reserve side. I mean, he's just a guy who wants to do his job and live his life, as simple as that. Although Billy Burke nailed this role, I think Joel Edgerton is a great second. I mean, he may be too big of a name for a series like this one, but hell, it's my fan castle. Let's go ahead with it anyways. He has this feel to him where he's just more reserved, not angry, but quiet to himself. Like I can picture him at the end of the bar with a drink in hand, comes in for just one to relax, doesn't get drunk, but just minds his own business. I feel like that works perfectly for Charlie. The way we like to run things and we think it's important, you know, I think it's important to keep a routine and stay busy. <laughs> well, I'll just settle in. Yeah. And uh, we'll get working in the morning. And welcome. That's perfect. Thank you. Thank you very mm -hmm. much. He's a support character in all sense of the word. I feel like that quiet stillness, but also that working man is perfect in exactly what Joel would bring to this role. He seems like he would have more backstory than the character would let on. And with an actor this talented, I can see this turning from just a support character into someone who really shines. So Joel Edgerton as Charlie Swan. Well, there's my cast of the big three and Charlie. Let me know if you're enjoying this and if you want me to continue with the series. I'm anticipating going through all the characters in the first movie as well as diving into the next. But let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see and which character I shouldn't miss. As well as let me know your choices for these roles. I definitely lent into more of the unknown side either than Charlie, but there are amazing choices like Mackenzie Foy, who was in Twilight, but she'd make a really good Bella. Let me know in the comments below. As always though, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.